interracial couple here in Cape Town mm. and three years ago maybe three years, 2019 yeah since then we got married we weren't married in that video now we're married that was yeah. nice fun times good times good times good times good times so just Jasper just really on your back you know? Jasper wanted the attention to be on him the whole time for the wedding so he was doing lots of crying lots of screaming um, and I had an issue with the salon I went to for my hair so that delayed the whole of the wedding um, because I had to shower and restart all over again, which was a bit of a nightmare, but we worked it out. So then the ceremony was at sunset in the end, which was like seven o'clock, which was quite nice. It was beautiful um, and it was nice. just made everyone wait quite a bit. So everyone's quite drunk, but I think that's a good thing. They seem to have a good time. So it was fun. Had a great time. Got married in a villa in Camps Bay. Yeah. So had nice views overlooking the sea. I'll put some shots in perhaps of the, the wedding, you can see how we were dressed. Um, we combined kind of the traditional white wedding and then we also put some cross of belts. I had beaded belt, you had your beads. Yeah, um, yeah. So we kind of blended both of us because that's kind of how we are. We are quite a blended family in terms of how we live and what we eat, what we, what we do, what we yeah, listen pretty. to. How we speak. Well, what we listen to is uh, another topic for another day because you. Because know, I don't get the chance to listen to anything. You're what right. Do you mean? What do you it's mean? It's always you play. You 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 play the tunes. I play, I play my music. Yeah. And then sometimes you'll you take requests. Huh? Sometimes you'll take requests. Well, because but if it's something that I want to listen to, like S Club Seven, that never happens. So no, it's always what no, he wants no, no. to listen to. We don't listen to S Club Seven here, yeah, man. S Club Seven is for there in England, not here. So yeah, yeah we listen to your releases kind of music. Definitely, hundred percent. I take. Uh, responsibility of the tunes, you know? Big tune team. DJ. <laughs> DJ! <laughs> so, since we last spoke, got married, we moved house this year. So, we moved from Observatory, which is near the city centre. Moved out into the nature a bit more towards Tokai. Um, fresh air, nice people, nice places to visit. We're near the sea, we're near the forest. It's so much calmer. It's definitely a completely different yeah. way of living. You can actually do a lot of uh, thinking without noise, no? without uh, being disturbed by Mobika! You know? Uh, <laughs> For reference, we live, uh, we live near uh, Main Road where there'd be lots of um, taxis stopping to pick people up. Um, so that's their way of advertising that the taxis arrived. So it was. Uh, What's a more informed, uh, like a learner, the way of calling them? Uh, the taxi what, coordinator, Co yeah, taxi, yeah, taxi coordinator, the, the door coordinator, isn't it? They call the door coordinator, but it's a, it's a, it's a weird thing, right? Anyway, salesman. I might be wrong, but you just you can comment there. What's the right term for it? There's a term for it when people used to take a piss out of the the gaikis. We call them gaikis. Uh, that's the like slang Afrikaans word. Oh no, oh no, oh ikai, yeah, ikai. It's called the physical Yeah, but there's this uh, English. Woolworths English. Uh, <laughs> Woolworths English. The MNS of the, South Africa. The MNS of South Africa, there's a way of calling them. But I mean, it's a bit rude, but anyway, enough about them. Yeah, we moved from observatory uh, to Tukai. I think it's, it's, it's really good. I've, I've started, started exercising, started doing a lot of things. Yeah, we walk in nature a lot more. Yeah, now. yeah. It's yeah. much healthier. We walk a lot more places because it feels almost a bit safer as well. I feel more comfortable walking around. Even though it's like next to Paul's walk. By the way, prison. The prison. Paul's in prison. But I mean, quite gated. It's quite. Uh, <laughs> supposedly Until secure. those guys uh, revolt. Revolt and be like, yeah, we're breaking out of this prison. I mean, the overpopulation is already a problem, so I'm sure one day we'll see them coming over to have a brunch. Say hello. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> yeah, man. So also That's we've had the pandemic. The pandemic happened. We've had the pandemic since For the last video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's intense. Been... South Africa really got strict. I mean, they locked down quickly, which was, I think, probably quite good, but um, they made sure that no one left the house. 
you weren't even allowed to go out only if you needed to go to the pharmacy or the chemist and grocery shopping. You weren't allowed to exercise in parks. You just weren't allowed out at all. You had to have like special passes, like yeah. a media pass or um, if you were a drive your car at certain hours, yeah. So that was really hard, and it's. I mean, we loved each other, but being in each other's face and stress, I mean, it's horrible, it's really stressful. You can't go out of the house because you don't know what's going to happen to the world. You're like, oh, is the world ending? Oh, oh any like, because her parents are obviously are in England, yeah, she's separated from her family, and so and friends, so she had didn't have. I had my family here, obviously, and, and friends over here, but also we couldn't see those people as much as we wanted to. Also, I think, uh the pandemic like ruined some families and relationships and stuff like that because obviously if you see someone, see people the same every day and not have space from each other, it's either going to bring out the best in each other or the worst. Or even when the worst comes out, that's when you need to actually like, okay wait, I need to pull just out a bit of justice stuff yeah. or do something, you know, but people couldn't, didn't have coping mechanisms yeah. because this was... No, I knew it's a new yeah. thing for everyone, yeah. So the, the, the the problem is that human interaction was 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 pretty limited. Yeah, limited and also gone in a way. So and then and then they decided to let us out. This was by the time it was middle of winter. When they let us out, it was between six thirty a.m. and nine thirty a.m. to exercise. But so the sun didn't even rise till like half eight. So that was also really cold and sad and tough. Letting us out that early in the morning. And then they also banned alcohol for a long time. Yeah. And they let it back. Ah, but they banned alcohol. It was useless because people would get alcohol still. Illegally. You know, illegally. You know, especially if you... Making it at home as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah! yeah. Pineapple food. Pineapple. Yeah, pineapple that was fruit. so nice. That was oh, nice. That was so nice. So much sugar there. We got quite chubby from that. Yeah, that was really nice. Actually, I think <laughs> I'll have to do that again. The, the pineapple. Actually, I should make a video showing you how to make... Um... We, would, we did that. Do we? Yeah, and then you poured like a kilogram of baking soda in and then ruined it. Remember? Oh, You're like, oh, this could be fun. <laughs> so maybe... Yeah. maybe no, 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 baby. Don't put baking soda in uh, pineapple brew. Just... Dry yeast is fine. Yeah, I mean, I thought I thought it would, it would just make it taste, I guess, but baking soda. I mean, what does baking soda do anyway? We'll have to Google that. If you know, let us know. Let us know in the comment section. Right, thanks. Guess what the panic ha happened? We survived. Survived, just about. Killed businesses. I'm sure everyone struggled with finances, work. Especially me as an artist, I didn't have much yeah. places I can play, even after now, the pandemic. Still, no one wants Still, to have the money to put towards yeah. the entertainment industry. So the government eat your money. The government um. really didn't do <laughs> any support for people. They said... Oh, they did. They gave people 350 rand. Which, um, in context, is about £15 per month, and that's meant to cover like survival, apparently, even though that's the cost for like two packs of nappies, and that's it, so... I don't think you can buy a nappies at 350 can you? You can buy one pack and then make some wet works and stuff. Okay. <laughs> I mean, 350 rand, what can you do with 350 rand? That's like uh, the president's glass of wine, isn't it? Um, it's true, I mean, it's absolutely um, tough. So business is still slowly getting back. Um, we've been trying to do some of our media stuff. We have a media business called Carla Creative Collective. Uh, we used to run events in town for first Thursdays called African Soul Experience, and that was really great. Now we're just um, replanning in terms of where we want the next venue to be, because um, we want to extend it and expand it and make it not just a musical event, but also have like food vendors, um, creative businesses selling their things. So watch out, it will be back. It will be back, it will be back. Will Otherwise, we're doing some smaller events. We did Selective Poetry. Selective Poetry! Selective Live, that was great. Oh, shout out to Samora, shout out to Anati for coming through doing that one. It was really dope. Shout yeah. out to Math and Adon as well. Math, Always Adon, exactly live. We're making the things happen. They make the, the pods go grrr! Skibbity pop pop pop. You know what I mean. So, that's good. We're trying to keep keep doing events because we really enjoy that. Um, and but it's quite difficult as, as, as a creative, even because um, obviously uh, things need capital to actually funding, funding to, to make the thing run, you know, properly. Because, I mean, sound is expensive, hiring sound, if you run events, you know what I mean? Artists are uh, also can be expensive, because you yeah. need to pay the artists, you know what I mean? I don't like this thing of making free events and then the artist doesn't get anything at home, because, yes, it's beautiful to, to have your art there, but everybody needs to survive, everybody needs to eat. We live in the world, and the realistic, uh, the, the, the realization of actually everyone needs something at the end of the day yeah. is really real, because we don't know what people have or don't have. Being know? a creative is still a career, it's still a job. Yeah. Um, and stop underpaying creatives, people. Like, it's, it's, like, stop it. Like, if you go to the doctor and the doctor tells you 
I diagnose you and whatever, whatever, and says, okay, blah, 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 and says, yo, where's my money? You give the doctor your money, you give them 500 grand. But why is it when it, it is a creative? I'm not going to say if it's an artist, no, it's a creative, all creatives. I'm talking about all kinds of creatives. You don't want to pay them their worth, you know what I mean? Mm. Some of those people go to university for this thing, some of these people have lifetime experience, sure. but, you know, people think they can get away with murder and pay them peanuts. It's yeah. wrong. Pay the creatives, guys. Yeah. If you're going to hire someone and you want pictures, even if you have an iPhone, and you say, oh no, my iPhone can take better pictures, but that person went to school to actually know what actually is the right thing to do. We know that technology, that nowadays you can just take a, a phone, but it's not the same. Yeah. Here's the thing, it's not the same. It might seem as if the same, but it won't be the same. So, like, Let's give respect to creatives, man. Let's 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 let's, let's give to people what, what what they work. If they do a shitty job, they should be paid shitty. But if they're good, pay them the money. Yeah, that's my preaching. Done. That's it. So <laughs> you can check out. We do photos and videos um, as a service. So like lifestyle, weddings, family events, birthdays, yep, yep. a bit of everything. So you can let us know when we come along and make sure. the event fun. A whole package if you need. Video services and photography and entertainment, we can do the whole thing. Do the whole thing. Mm. Please, man, like, uh, comment, and uh, tell subscribe. us what you think. Subscribe, fam, fam.